On September 4, 1622, 28 ships left Havana, Cuba, bound for Spain. They carried the wealth of an empire. Silver from Peru and Mexico, gold and emeralds from Colombia, and pearls from Venezuela. I'm Nick Dister Kid, a young patriot who loves history. Today is the day we learn about Mel Fisher, treasure hunter. The most famous of these 28 ships was the rear guard, and that ship was the Atocha. The ship was loaded with treasures beyond belief. The 1622 hurricane sunk the ship with all its cargo. These are the anchors of the Atocha and the Margarita. The Atocha sank in 55 feet of water. A second hurricane came through, further destroying the wreck. For the next 60 years, Spanish salvagers searched for the wreck, but never found it. You must be Nick, how are you? Good. In 1969, Mel Fisher and his treasure salvers began a relentless 16-year quest for the treasure of the Atocha. In 1973, three silver bars were found and they matched the weights and tally numbers found on the Atocha's manifest. Today's artifacts and treasures from the Atocha and Margarita are the cornerstone of the Mel Fisher Maritime Society Museum's collection. These are jade ceremonial celts that were recovered from the Atocha. This is a poison cup made out of gold from the Atocha. Among the items found on the wrecks are a fortune of gold, silver bars, coins, a solid gold belt and necklace with gems, a gold chalice, a gold chain weighing more than seven pounds, emeralds, and a lot more. This elaborately decorated gold spoon is one of the most beautiful artifacts found on the Atocha. In 1975, Melson Dirk found five bronze cannon whose markings confirmed they found the Atocha.